What's going on guys, it is TSJ, welcome back to another install video. This is, after a lot of requests, uh, Napoleonic Total War 3 version 8.8. .8. I did 8.7 not too long ago, uh, it released at the beginning of this year, but now halfway through the year they have released an updated version. I didn't do it right away and make the install video right away because I had the Great War mod uh, installed for uh, Total for this game. but. Um, I uninstalled that. I'm going to be getting an updated beta version of that that I'll be installing again to keep on doing those epic battles for you guys. Uh, but this is, of course, one of the more popular mods for NTW. And so I thought, okay, this, you know, want to show this to you guys. So quickly, if you run into any issues, just let me know down in the comments below. I'll, of course, go uh, get back to you. Uh, as soon as I can. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram. That's in the description below for updates and previews and snippets of new content, stuff like that. Also on Discord, we have a good time there. We're so close to uh, 500 members, so gonna be a good time there. And as always, if you do enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to get updates on all the new content. Okay, so, um, guys, to install this mod, to install version 8.8, .8, um, this is, I installed it obviously from a fresh, um, from a fresh install of Napoleon. So what I did, I had the Great War mod installed, I deleted it off of Steam, I deleted it in the file, um, in the file, uh, Explorer. I also even went into the Creative Assembly and deleted the Napoleon folder here too. Alright, so I completely wiped Napoleon from my PC, alright? You also are going to need WinRAR to download this mod as well. So just keep that in mind. And of course, this is for Steam version. So after I did all that, you know, you go into ModDB, which is where they host the mod, um, and you need to download essentially all of these, which seems like a lot, but most of the, half of them you're installing in one go, right? So click on this one of four, download that, all right? Um, then you're going to download this. This is two gigabytes. This is the second part. Download the third part. This is also two gigabytes and then download the fourth part. And I, of course, already have this mod installed. Um, Bullet Steel I did with you guys, but this mod isn't as difficult, so I actually already have it installed. But I'll still be going through it with you step by step. So once those are installed, you can go to your downloads. And notice I have um, all of them here, okay? We're just going to be doing... You can also, as you're, you know, you can also go and download these parts in order as well. All right, the... 8.7, 8.8 campaign patch, and the 8.8. Uh, this is for um, this is also the latest battle patch as well. Okay, so download those along with it. But anyway, for the main four parts, right? So you've got the core and you've got the uh, bin files here. What I would do, which which what you kind of have to do, is move all of them into. So copy them, move all of them into a. Uh, their own separate folder. So here is, let me get rid of that. So here is all of the four first downloads. You got the core and then the other th uh, three files. All right. So you just double click on the core. The reason they all have to be in the same folder is because this, this installer will automatically take the bin files and put them where they need to go. So this is after clicking on the core, right? So um, it should go right to your Napoleon Total War right away right so if you have it in steam and it's in your c drive you can just click next right um right so of course mine is not in my c drive mine is in my d drive um now keep in mind notice how when i click on my d drive i see napoleon total war here's what you don't want to do so you want to make sure you take it to common notice how if i click on total war it's there's two napoleon total wars you don't want that you want to stop it at common right so Steam apps common. You can click OK um, and then it'll click next. It'll ask you if you want to create a shortcut. You're good to go and it's going to install. This is a huge mod. Mine took about close to 10 minutes to install. All right, it's on my hard drive though, not my SSD, so it's going to take a little longer. Um, but that is how you install the main portion of it, right? So the next part is the launcher. So you're going to have, you should have a launcher here don't you know these two are the, of course the final version you should have something like this that says 8.7 right so here is when you download this version 8.7 patch this is what it's going to look like okay 
All you do is copy it and then paste it here where I'm going, right? So your Steam, Steam apps, make sure again, it's to your uh, Napoleon Total War. You're going to put it into your data folder, NTW3, and then Launcher 2, and you paste it in there, okay? Now, you will have an 8.7 that is not underscored, right? Notice how this is underscored. This is the patch, right? This is good. Ignore 8.8, .8. we haven't gotten there yet. Of course, I already have it in there because I already installed 8.8. You shouldn't have it in there yet. But anyway, you should have an underscore 8.7 and an, and an 8.7 that is not underscored. Delete the one that is not underscored, okay? Then you can create a, create a shortcut and put it on here. This is what that is, okay? I don't use that anymore because now I have the 8.7, so I guess this is this can honestly just pretty much be deleted, um, you know. But anyway, when you post it in here again, you'll have two 8.7s. One will be underscored, which is the one you want, and one will not be underscored. You can delete that, okay? So we're almost finished. We only have two more files to deal with, all right. And of course, you can you can honestly play the mod already with 8.7, but of course, you want version 8.8. .8. So the next one is the campaign patch. All right, so this updates NTW3 to the campaign 8.8. .8. That's what this is. This is why you need WinRAR, okay? So click on that. You're going to extract it to a specified folder and you're going to essentially put it into your uh, Napoleon uh, data folder, okay? So you can click okay, right? And it's going to ask you, do you want to overwrite everything so i'm going to click no because i already have it right you're going to click yes right so it's going to ask into your data folder again remember and it'll overwrite anything it needs to in the ntw3 file folder that's really probably one of the more trickier ones you want to make sure you have winrar last one is the latest 8.8 .8 patch which came out just a few days ago it came out like a week ago so you're going to click on it click yes all right, it might ask you if you want to run it. You just click more info and, and, and force it to run. And this is essentially exactly like the, the first, core full, uh, first core application that we did at the beginning of the video. All right, so click. For me, I'm going to browse, and you're just going to direct it to your uh, Napoleon Total War folder. So again, if yours is in your C drive, you're good to go. You don't need to worry about anything. Uh, if it's in your... D drive, you're going to want to do what I'm doing. Click OK, right? So want to make sure and uh, Napoleon Total War is the final one. Click OK. I'm going to click Cancel because I already have it installed. But you click OK, go through the steps. It'll install. It's going to take a couple, maybe like a minute or two. There's a lot there. Um, and then you will have this 8.8. .8. And there you go. You'll have the shortcut 8.8. .8. You can click on it. You've got all the campaigns, classic battles, all that good stuff. Um, and that is how you install the mod guys so please let me know down in the comments if you run into any issues i will be sure to get back to you as soon as i can thank you so much for watching everyone stay super and i'll see you guys next time